predicting ionic formula based on Lewis structures. In this problem, it says given the Lewis dot structure of oxygen and lithium, predict the ionic formula. So here they've given us the Lewis dot structure of oxygen and lithium, and we have to use that to, to draw or to figure out the ionic formula for Li and O. So in this problem, what we can see is that Li has one valence electron, and if we look at the periodic table, we can also see that it's a metal, and this has six valence electrons, and we can see that this is a nonmetal. So we know we're talking about an ionic formula, which was mentioned in the problem. And so when we look at this, we should know that metals tend to lose their valence electrons. So from valence electrons, if a metal has one to three valence electrons, it will lose all of its valence electrons. So we know that Li will actually turn on to Li plus. And oxygen, oxygen actually wants to become, gain two extra Lewis, two extra, or two extra valence electrons. So here, I would add an electron here. So if I'm drawing the Lewis dot structure for their ions, this is what I would get. However, when if we only have one Li, we only can donate one, one electron, one valence electron. So when you do this formula, what you can do is, again, the X rule that you've done before. You put Li. You know you need two of them because two of them, is, two of them need to, do, to ne donate each of their valence electrons, their one valence electron to oxygen to complete oxygen's octet and to have Li also have its eight valence electrons in the energy level that's below it. So here, or uh, two valence electrons in its valence shell because Li is, is going to be, have the same electron configuration as He. So here, it's going to be Li2O, oh, and that is the answer to the problem we have here.